express 6.25% as a fraction in its lowest terms. And so we have 6.25%, and our goal is to express this as a fraction in lowest terms. Now, in order to convert 6.25% into a fraction, what we're going to do is we're going to write 6.25 and put it over 100. And what could help you or remind you that you have to put it over 100 is you could think of this slash as a one, and you could think of as these as the two zeros. But you always have to put it over 100 when you're trying to convert 6.25% into a fraction. And so we have 6.25 all over 100. Now, the problem that we have is that the numerator is a decimal. So it's a 6.25. We want it to be a nice whole number. And so what that means is that we want to move this decimal point one, two. We want to move it over such that it's behind the five. And so, the, so that the number that we're dealing with is 625 instead of 6.25. This will make simplifying the fraction easier. And so what we're going to do in order to move that decimal point over two times, we're going to multiply the top or the numerator by 100. But whatever we do to the top, we must do to the bottom. And so that means that we must mu multiply the bottom by 100 as well. And so we have for the top 625. And for the bottom, we have 10,000. Now we can simplify this fraction. And so we have, let's use 25 to simplify it because 25 can go into 625 and 25 can go into 10,000. 625 divided by 625 divided by 25 is definitely 25 and 10,000 divided by 25 is definitely 400. And so we have 25 divided by 400, but it's not in simple terms yet because we can, we can simplify it further. What number can go into both 25 and 400 without leaving the remainder? Let's use 25 again. So 25 goes into itself one time and 25 goes into 400 16 times. And so that means that our answer here is one over 16 because we cannot simplify this fraction even more further. So this fraction is in lowest terms. So that means that 6.25% written as a fraction in lowest terms is one over 16. Next, the question states to convert a third to a percentage. Now, if we want to convert this fraction into a percentage, we have to multiply by 100. And so we have 1 over 3 multiplied by 100 over 1. We say 1 times 100, and that gives us 100. And we say 3 times 1, and that gives us 3. Now, let's divide. We have 100 all over 3. 100 divided by 3 is going to be 33.333 and we continue with the threes. So this goes on and on and on. Now, 0 0.333 continuing on and on is actually a third. And so what we actually have here is 33 and a third. And so that's that, this is, this fra this is a third converted into a percentage. And so our answer actually is 33 and a third percent. Let's put the percentage sign. So 33 and, and a third percent. And that's the answer to this question.